Hi, hello, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, and more broadly speaking, episode 34 of my YouTube channel. I like the Flying Dutchman, and I'm imaginary. Thank you for stopping by. We are moving into the basement now, um, which I, by every extent, believe is a terrible idea, because he kicked her out of the basement once already, told her to only take care of her patients upstairs. But we're going to go down anyways. Because we are brave. This is about where I passed out last time. I think. Somewhere at the bottom of these stairs. God, this basement is deep. Who needs a... God. Dear Lord. It goes down forever. I mean, not really, but like... This is... Oh. Looks like something. Either was dragged from or dragged to the elevator. What the hell? Oh, damn it. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. No! Oh, I have a gun now. If you're gonna shoot. Oh, no, I don't. That's someone else's gun. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Oh, it's a bookstore owner. Slowly. Algernon Drake. What a cool name, Algernon. I should name my kid that when I Talk, have one eventually. Filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? No, Answer the question. Not quite. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Aw. I don't have high enough occultism. I thought I have like some of the highest that you can have. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Marie? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right, all right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the doctor! Thank you, Drake. Excuse me. Oh, oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have started another episode. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I just... Let's drink some coffee. Why am I so tired? What a pretty crow. The book project pierced into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried her out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding some information on, if not the body of Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered be by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. I have a feeling that this was something that happened in the past. And by that I mean like a long time ago. Um, and that this was like I'm just being fucked with which is something I'm mean, like entirely expecting to be true because this is a game emulating um, Lovecraftian horror so hello detective Pierce um, is this a letter for me I pray that Colden is really here how did I enter and alive I came in through a window cool Do 
Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 1. Didn't I find another one before? The Diary of Robert ha Wickwood's wife. Her husband, jo John, built the first Hawkins home, called Hilltop, at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries ago. Old diary. Disappeared mysteriously, my ass. Of course I'm going to read the book. What kind of question is that? Uh, another bisterium. Bis bisterium. This collection uh, catalogs and classifies creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars. Creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers, it's paid... Oh, whoops. That's a sentence fragment. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. Oh, that was weird. There's something else. How old is Fuller, really? Wait, 1849? That's, what, 20? That's 80 years ago, roughly. I don't actually know exactly what year this is. Hold on. Maybe I can find out. Let's see how many clown posses do I have to spend for. Let's get up to 100 in eloquence. Um, I want to put more points into invest into cultism, but I can't. Um, let's put it into... Psychology. Whoops. Oh, I gotta press enter first. I always make that mistake. I do the speak well now. I've used that joke like four times now. Who cares? It's funny every time. That was locked. All of these doors were locked except for this one. Fuck. Okay, so apparently I'm going out the front door. Right. Enough time wasted. Holden needs me. I must find her. Oh, the smoke is being blasted in again. Oh, there's someone right there. He's looking the other way, and I'm good. Easy enough. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Oh. No. Oh. My God. What? What is happening what to me? What the fuck just happened? Wait, where am I? Wait, am I downstairs or am I upstairs? Oh god. Oh my god, okay. This is cool. Um. Oh, I can't open my fucking window. I was gonna try to look at what all these little symbols were. This is a very interesting book aimed at the wide public, demonstrates how non recognized scientists, scientists have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandmother's secrets, Chinese acupuncture, hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of the century. Okay, I see. I was gonna try to look up in my book which of these symbols I needed to look at. It looks like I need to get in there. Can I go in here? No. Okay, kind of want to walk into one of these symbols, but this trail's telling me to go that way. Oh, God, what if I had to go to the bathroom? Oh, I can't. I can't walk into the symbols. Yeah, I can't walk into the symbols at all. 
they're like blocking my way. I recognize most of these, I think. First off, this one, um, these two kind of look like the monster logo. What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Oh, it's somewhat different, I think. Isn't it? Am I, or am I going crazy? Wait, is there anything different now? My lantern seems infinite now. Oh wait, this is new, right? I don't think I had access to this one before. It's just a bathroom. I need to get back there, clearly. Can I walk into this yet? No. Wait, whoa. I thought something was reaching out of there for a moment. Okay, I guess I'm gonna walk through that again. I don't think it's any different. I think I'm just going in circles at this point. I mean, I clearly need to get... All right, let's just keep an eye. I'm, I'll do like a little bit of a round every time it does this. See if there's anything different. I can't see outside. I can't tell if that's because the game didn't register or didn't, isn't built to show me outside can i just climb over the counter like logically that's what i should do but the game's not gonna let me i assume okay so we're just do another trip wait no something's definitely changing right something's changing or is it is something changing or is it just me things seem different Something's got to be changing, right? I'm like... There's got to be some kind of point to this, right? Like, something's changing. Right? What is... something please what am I supposed to do where the shadows going given off is kind of weird it's kind of funky the toilet fuck what am I oh my god I, I feel like something's changing but at the same time I could be wrong and wasting my time I, maybe I just need to run in circles for like let's keep an eye on the symbols at least like they, they seem the same nothing seems different about these symbols okay, what did I just do oh that's right I can make my lantern brighter Burns the oil faster, but oh shit! I'm almost out of land. Oh, it refills my lantern every time I go through. Wait, so something? I I need to do something then. With. The idea seems to be that I need to do something. With. Brightening up my lantern. That seems to be the case here. Wait. What happened? Something has changed, but what?
before I do that, hold on, I wanna... Nothing, so far nothing's changed. Just that I can go inside there. I can't brighten my lamp anymore, any at all either. That's not an option anymore, so... Well... Uno delinquente. Oh, this is the book I picked up earlier. But now I get to hold on to it. I don't know what it means. Or what it's going to do for me. Okay, the light was showing me something here. But it's not letting me do anything on that shelf. So maybe it's back here. I'm just going through the wall. All I've done is get a book so far. Was I supposed to jump and joy for that book? things anymore or yet either. Something's changed and I gotta find it out because it can't just be that I was able to get that book. Wait, hold on. That door was closed before. Maybe if I pick up this lantern with it open. Yeah, okay. Where have I seen this symbol? Oh, it's one of the ones that's hanging in the air. Wait, what happens if I... Oh shit, what happened? What'd I do? Awaken and free me. No, thank you. I'd, I'd rather prevent you from being freed. Not, big, not a big fan of causing cataclysmic events and letting... and bringing back a great old one. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Koklu. I shouldn't do that. Iris would shake her head so hard at me. Alright, so is this one. Oh, cool. Okay. So I need to go in there. Can't, because this will just. Whoa. They sent me back somewhere different. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting a little bit of an idea of what's going on here. Okay, so let's pick up the other lantern. Open this door here. And I think there was like a book in here that I can pick up. It's right there. Can I get it? No, I can't get it. laundry room just seems useless. Maybe something to do with this hatch. I'll, I'll do something with the hatch eventually. Alright, well the door is open, so let's go back and grab the other lantern. This is cool. This is kind of a neat idea that they had here. Give me the book. I want that book. I think that book will help increase my my smarticles. supposed to go through here? Oh, it took me to the bathroom, to the other side of the... Okay. Yes, it is. It is trapped. Yes, it has. Thanks, Francis. I mean, like, 
like I'm not surprised about that. This is just like an interesting little addition to the game. I I'm not too like honestly it's a little long to be quite to be quite honest um I'm starting to lose a little bit of my interest in it as it continues for a little maybe a little too long here. So I got to get back there. I need to go pick up the other lantern. The worst part is I got to run all the way back. What was that? Thanks, no thanks. I don't want it. Oh, picking up the other lantern didn't do anything. What? I thought for sure there'd be another door for me to open. What? Wait, hold on. No, I can't get through there, but maybe, maybe, um, give me this lantern back. Maybe if I do this. Oh god, the shambler's there. I think, there's something dark. There's a dark shape, and that's all that matters. Are. Miss Sanders is probably downstairs now. That is a lot of blood there. Um, I don't see a door on this side though. Was there supposed to be a door? Or... Oh, you know what? I need the other lantern. Gonna be in here. Just keep running. There's no, there's no way. There's like a threat of anything being in here to kill me, is there? There we go. You are confronting powers that surpass you. You're not wrong, but here's the thing. I am a stubborn war veteran, and I will drink you under the table. Because those are the only two things about this character's past that I remember. So he's a war veteran and he's an alcoholic. A disgruntled war veteran and alcoholic investigator. I don't even know if this man ever had family is the thing. Like, legit. Did this man have family? I can't get back there. too much? Is that why my heart's pounding? Not great. I need another... I need the other lantern now, huh? Oh. I think if my lantern runs out, the shambler gets me. That didn't reset my lantern. I thought it would. I was gonna reset my lantern and it didn't. That scared the crap out of me. I think if my lantern dies, the fucking shambler is gonna kill me. This one doesn't have oil, so that's fine. I'm fine. I just gotta open this door and go get the other lantern. I'm going back into Fuller's office, apparently. Why is it making me do this whole circle just to get downstairs? Honestly, this is a cool little segment of the game, but I'm, I need I need there to be a reason for this here soon. Um, Cause at this point, there doesn't seem to be any reason for it, which is gonna frustrate the shit out of me, honestly. Kind of Fuller's office we go. <gasps> oh my god!
bitch. Fuck. I'm okay. No, I'm not. I like. I feel like I could vomit right now. I'm not getting any medical knowledge from these books, though. We can go down to the basement now. It looks like things are back to normal. Yeah, it sure does look like it, huh? Good thing you know you trust your view, your uh, eyesight, after all that shit. Alright, down back down these like fucking five stories of stairs for a basement. ever a, a, a definition of the word basement is this shit so far on the ground so that's where she went but maybe I don't want to follow her tracks to the book I can't go in there okay apparently I'm following her tracks to a T that doesn't seem wait that's not right that's not the door I just opened Hey, can we discuss this, Pierce? Because that's not the door you just opened. I can't see shit, and it's not okay. I can't bring up the lantern either. Oh, boy. Oh, this is endless. What's going on? It never ends. Yeah, me, me too, Pierce. Can't. Oh, fuck. It's me. Damnation. That's. Oh that's no! Me. God no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Get out. I got uh. What is going Oh shit, okay. Oh, it's cat. Wait, why did I remember when I played Pierce, this? Oh, I found it's not her. Cat. It's Colden. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. Wait, does that mean it you're is not already alive? Too late for me. No! Colden. What's going on? After. Was it a hallucination? What happened to Colden? Please tell me she's not dead. Oh no, Dr. Fuller, why? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. What are you doing? Stop, that noise is gonna make me sick. Oh. No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop! Don't do it, Pierce. Wait, he's already dead. Where is he? He's just really quiet. Oh, apparently I'm knocked out from that blow. Why did Maria, why did Dr. Colden help them? All right. Nope, she's back in the chair. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. After all of that confusion, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like.
you didn't, leave a dislike and let me know why down in the comments below so I can work on improving my content. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.